Welcome to Tibbetts Brook Park, County Park. Been checking on this place every once in a while and looks like finally this is some nice ice. There's still signs up that say no skating, but it's kind of ridiculous because there's clearly going to be more than four inches of ice after the week we've had. Um, I'm doing a collaboration today with Bass and NY. Uh, we had a collaboration in August at Rockland Lake. That's where I caught a three pounder out of a ditch. Uh, he's never ice fished be before, so we're gonna show him the ropes, at least how I do it. And uh, I really hope we can get on some fish here. Tibbetts is not my favorite place in the summer. But I think it has some promise in the winter because I can get out to spots where I would never be able to cast to. I think it's a very shallow lake. So we're going to be lucky, I think, if we find anything that's, uh, you know, 15, 20 feet. Might be only, you know, 10, 12 feet at its deepest, but we're about to find out. So I'm very curious. And I think if we can find that, that deep spot, very likely it's going to be, uh, you know, jammed up with fish. Okay, test hole time. Don't think this is necessary. Huh. Let's see. It's actually not as deep as thick as I thought. Oh my gosh, yeah. We're good. That's about five inches. Guys, this is our first hole. You have a lot of uh, cracking noises on the ice, but you know, there's easily five inches of ice here, so I really don't think we have anything to be concerned about. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to be very deep here. We're about to find out. Are you kidding me? That's it? Take my third or fourth hole. Let's see if we can find any deep water here. Huh. No. I haven't found anything deeper than like four feet in this whole pond so far. Drilled a bunch of holes. This spot isn't any deeper. But my new approach is to just, okay, I don't know where the bass are hanging out in uh, cold water, then why don't I just go for, you know, where they hang out in warm water. So this is the part of the lake where I usually catch stuff. Okay guys, I'm googling how to ice fish shallow ponds. Okay folks, Jimmy has arrived. He's getting used to the auger here, drilling holes where we think maybe we might have some deeper water. We're getting a little close to the uh, to the creek here, so we're trying to stay stay back, stay at a safe distance from the thinner ice. Um, I agree with him though that this could be a deeper spot just because it's kind of where it's all dammed up for this creek. I mean that's it's a little deeper than other spots though honestly. What would you say four feet? That's about four feet yeah. Okay guys in the absence of deep water we've been talking about finding like a creek channel and uh been this conspicuous white line going across the pond here and there is a very small creek that comes in right right here if you follow the line so maybe this this whole line is that that creek bed uh, so I'm gonna give it a shot see if it's any deeper eh, no <laughs> huh can't hear you Are you sure? We got six inches of ice. I, I mean, I, I understand what you mean. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. But usually four inches is good. Thank you. Yeah, he pretty much just said we're on our own if we fall in. Um, but, and of course, and then he like laughed when I was like, uh, we, you know, we know what we're doing and there's like six inches and we only need four, yeah. but whatever. What do you say? Left? 
No problem. I, I mean, he just said you're like, do it, do it at your own risk. But I'm telling you not to. Okay. Yeah. Maybe a couple more holes. Yeah, um, I mean, but if he's already hawking us. Yeah. Right. You I think mean, he's just he gonna keep driving be, around until we that leave? Or he might bring somebody else, to, you know, out. That's more. Right, right, right. He's going to go tell somebody yeah. else. Let's drill like two more holes. Let's and do it. How productive car do you usually when you come down ice fishing? Um, the thing is, I mean, my problem right now is the depth. Like, I've never had, I've never come anywhere close to like fishing this shallow. I'm pretty confident at, you know, those other spots we could at least catch something. I really thought I was going to go out to the middle and find like 10 feet of water. Okay, folks, we're here at Mohan Lake Mohansic at FDR State Park in Yorktown Heights, New York. Got my friend Joe here drilling some holes. Uh, we're going to see what kind of depth we're working with. I think this is about a, a spot where uh, I've caught panfish in the past. Didn't have a great day yesterday, so we're uh, hoping for better luck today. I'm going to test gonna see how deep it is in this little test hole here get down there buddy that's what I like to see all right still going still going still going okay we've hit bottom all right that's a good place to start. That's about, what would you say that is? I think it's, I think it's a little more. Well, Close to it. regardless, let's, I think this is a good place to start. So yeah, I always, once it hits bottom, I bring it up about a foot. Yeah, that's what I did. And then just twitch it. I've thought about getting one of those little, uh, well, the, the brand name is Markham, the little, ice fishing like fish finders I don't know like I don't know if I've just been super lucky over the years but like I've 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 always had just good luck like to the point where I don't feel like I need one but now that I, now they just said that I know I'm gonna jinx us for the day bass that's got to be a bass hold on loosen your drag loosen your drag nice work dude that's gonna be a bass okay Joey's on his first ice fish I don't, do you want me to help or no? Oh sh, dude. It won't even fit. Hold on, hold on. Watch your hands with that braid. That's a bass. Nice, nice. Good one. <laughs> Beautiful. Yes. Yes. All right, first fish for you through the ice ever, right? See, that's what I'm talking about. Find a good hole. That's got to be two and a half pounds. That's a d damn good fish, dude. That's what I'm saying. Find that hole, baby. I'm so happy for you. That's great. I'm so happy for me. And most of that's on film. I thought he was stuck. I thought he was like totally too big. Look at that. Look at that. He almost is. Oh, dude, he's not going in. Got it? What's happening down there? Oh, there's like part of it, there's like a lip here. Oh, is there? Yeah. You might want to take the drill. Let's try it again, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, get down. There, that wasn't tipped with anything? No. Holy sh**, dude. Nice work. I was hoping, you know, it's, it's more important to me that one of you guys catches something today, hey, so. Guess what? I broke the ice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Literally. All right. Game on. So we won't get too close to you, but you don't mind if we uh, circle the wagons here. Uh, I'm moving, I mean, feel free. Do what you want. I'm gonna be greedy and go next to him. <laughs> right, yeah, that's how the bass are. With the panfish, 
you know, they call it like the machine gun taps. You feel these little nibbles. There we go. Keep the drag kind of loose though. Might be a bass. Looks like a bass. Oh my God. Yes, sir. That is, holy dude. That's huge. <laughs> that, the, nobody's got a scale. That might be a four. That might be a four and a half. Holy crap, dude. Perfect hook set, too, right in the corner. That might be a four. Is that the biggest bass you ever caught, Jody? Look how pink they are, man. Dude. They're so pink. Okay, now the video gets changed to their first fish, fish through the ice. Oh, my God. One. And get one next to your head. That's how we can really tell. Beauty. Can I hold? I want to see how heavy that is. Holy crap. I would say it's it's kind of lean. So I would say it's between maybe three. I, I honestly, I would say four. I would say it's four. Yeah. Maybe three and a half, four. four. That is wow. Look at this thing, you guys. Look at this thing. Holy crap. That might be. Here, uh, you know, put him in, hold him in the water for a second. I might have a scale. I don't think I do. Actually, I don't know. Do you care that much or? Uh, if, if you do, I'd like to. Yeah, okay. Hold him in the water a second. Huh? Yeah, head down. That, he barely fits. There he goes. Nice and healthy. Yeah. I mean, sometimes they're just so lethargic with the cold. Hey, excellent. Good job. Good stuff. Yes. It's, I'd say you could safely say four on that. I think so. Or like very close. I wonder if they don't like the sun. I'm thinking with these spoons, though, it'll give it a nice uh, shimmer, you know? Yeah, this is like the best ice fishing weather ever putting them on their first ice fish and the fact that those both happen to be great looking pretty darn big bass uh, you know that's just the icing on the cake but I'm still waiting to catch a fish so and and I don't care you know if it's a bluegill or what so what we're thinking is since we caught the bass farther out like out there we're thinking that maybe they're pushing the bait fish in closer so I'm really just looking for bluegill crappie whatever and when I keep going to holes like that are getting progressively closer to the shore and it's still pretty deep water like the last one where, where my auger is right there that still seems like 15 feet or so so I'm trying to find like where there's like might be a steep drop off some dramatic depth change because they say that fish like to hang out along those points so uh, we're gonna try this hole that's as you can see very close to the shore here still seems pretty deep maybe a little shallower Another bass? All right, so this one's deeper. This one's deeper. Not bad. Pound and a half, maybe pound and three quarters. It's so cold. It's cold, man. Freezing. Good job. I well done. Out. I found out the trick. What's the trick? What's the trick? I need to know. I found out the trick when I did. <laughs> I'm to go back in Doesn't want to go. I'm to go back in the hole. There we go. <laughs> I've just been like kind of bringing it up and letting it drop. Okay. Bring it up and letting it drop. And then it just smacked Like on the flutter down. Yeah, it, on the flutter down it. just smacked it. Okay. All right, three fish in the boat. Still a spoon, yeah, a spoon. Yeah. So now we've had enough fish for each of us, just not, not the right mm -hmm. person catching the third fish. It's okay though. All right. Might do a little location change after I jig a little at this hole. Things are happening here. All right, guys, we got about an hour left. Me and the boys have just relocated across the lake. Try something different. Not too much has happened since the last fish you saw. I am still fishless, so we're gonna try to get it done here. It's 
crunch time. It's like the Super Bowl, two minute warning. Need a, 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 a game winning drive here. For me, anyway. Bulls, send the camera down. Thanks for uh, being patient with me trying to get these underwater shots. Don't really have the right equipment for it, but it'll be cool to, to uh, at least see a fish down there on camera, let alone catch a fish. So the camera's gonna go in this hole, the line is gonna go in this hole, and uh, we're gonna try to capture something. Uh, I learned from the last few times I'm sending it down too far. I should let it hang like a foot above the bottom rather than like a few inches above the bottom. Okay, folks, well, it hasn't really been my day. We have maybe 15 minutes left to fish, because today is Super Bowl Sunday. I think I get ready for that, but uh, this, is, this will be my last hole. Hope you saw some stuff down in the depths, but I'm guessing not much. Cross our fingers that we can throw up a Hail Mary here and get a fish. All right, folks. Don't be fooled, I was completely pleased with the outcome today. We got some, some guys on their first ever fish on the ice, and what fish they were. So please like, please subscribe, I'll try to keep getting this content out. And of course, as always,